asking you this. How many of you gals have tried Mary Kay before? Raise your hand really high so I can see, like, be proud. Okay. How many of you are currently using Mary Kay right now? <laughs> currently? Currently? Awesome. Okay. Well, I am excited to introduce you to some new Mary Kay if you haven't tried it in a while. And to really just show you everything we have to offer, I'll tell you this. My entire intent of today is to make sure by the end that you feel blessed and beautiful. Okay? That you honestly just feel so amazing when we're done. So I'm going to tell you what we'll do. The first part is I'll tell you a little bit about Mary Kay. I know they told you some about it. Um, then I will tell you a little bit about my journey in Mary Kay. So hopefully you become more familiar with who I am. And then we're going to rock and roll through skincare. So you guys excited to wash your skin. You'll hydrate. You'll get some foundation on so I promise you won't leave naked. Okay? Like you will have something on you. You can go to Walmart when you're done and it'll be okay. And then, right, then we're going to go into emergency glamour. So we will then do a little bit of glamour. Emergency glamour is like 30 seconds looking hot. I'm going to show you the catalog special of Mary Kay. So I'm going to show you the Mary Kay roll-up bag. And then um, you'll each get an individual consultation with your consultant. So she'll just ask you like, did you have a great time? And you're going to be like, yes. Okay, so anyways, here we go. A little bit about Mary Kay. The most important things I can tell you, because I could tell you so much about the company, but really, Mary Kay's been around for 50 years. We are celebrating the 50th anniversary this year. And Mary Kay Ash was the founder of the company. Just one woman started this company that is now in over 35 countries with 2.5 million women worldwide selling this amazing product. So it's grown huge in the last years, but for you the most important fact to know is it currently ranks as the number one selling brand of both skincare and color cosmetics. So what does that mean? More women have Mary Kay in their bathroom than any other brand. Yes, that makes me so excited, okay? <laughs> so I love that. Um, a little bit about being a customer, just so you know, it is a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So if you get something tonight and then you're like, sugar, that lipstick always turns orange on me, you can change it out with her and let her know, like, I need a different color. You have that flexibility, you guys. It is also a try before you buy experience. See? It's all in your tray. You get to play with it. So you get to test it out. Make sure it feels fantastic. And then you all enjoy a follow-up. And what's a follow-up? A follow-up is the and then some appointment. Like where you get to do more glamour. Where you get to customize skincare needs just for yourself. And you get to do it alone. Or you can invite a couple of friends and they can kind of give you feedback, they can have fun, and you might just earn something for free. I don't know, okay? So talk to your consultant about the follow-up, too. It's kind of fun. But um, that's a little bit about Mary Kay. Are you feeling more comfortable? Yes. No, you're like, who is this person? <laughs> and again, my name is KT, and I'm going to tell you my fast fun facts here. Um, I started my Mary Kay business just about nine years ago, and I had absolutely no interest in it. And if any of you in here are a tomboy, of any means. I am a total farm girl. My major was agriculture communication. So when somebody said to me, you should do Mary Kay, I said, I would rather eat dirt and die before selling this <laughs> for a living. And so I was so like, no way. Needless to say, I heard the opportunity and I signed up the very same day. I know, crazy, huh? And there's four things that keep me in Mary Kay and really that I love about it. Hands down, number one is flexibility. I have a five-year-old little daughter and a two-year-old, and I love that I get to be a mama, but that I also get to have big girl time. I think that's so important. And back when I got started in Mary Kay nine years ago, I had 22 units in college. I had a 40-hour work week, and I was planning my wedding, which was four months away. So I needed flexibility back then too, so I love that. Second thing I love is financial stability. What you put into Mary Kay is what you get out of it. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme. In college, it was great side cash. Now it's my career, and I make over $100,000 a year for Mary Kay. So what you put into it is what you get out of it. Third thing I love are the priorities. Faith first, family second, career third. I dig that. That's my life, so I dig that. Fourth thing I love are the prizes and the recognition. You guys already see that we do rounds of applause, and we have so much fun. I love that Mary Kay is all about telling women, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're great, you can do it. Like, that's awesome. Where else do you get that? Really? Do you go to your other job and they're like, you're amazing, here's a pink Cadillac. Like, that's so exciting. So it has been such the journey. That's been my journey. And I tell you this, we are looking for women with passion and purpose who want to change their life. And if you're like, that is me. 
talk to me at the end. I would love to just share more with you, but I'm not going to twist your arm to do it, okay? You just have to come to me and tell me, hey, tell me more. So with that, we're going to start playing with the product. I'm going to tell you two things real quick to get you started. Number one, your mirror comes out of your tray. So if you hold the base and pull up, your mirror comes out. So your face, you can see it. You don't have to like try to fit your face in that mirror. It's really fun for me to watch you do. It's really mean to you, okay? Like everyone's scooting down. But just pull that mirror out and you'll be fine. Second thing I want to tell you, if there's something you don't want to play with, you're just like, I don't want to do that, then just don't do it. If you don't throw a fit, I won't throw a fit, okay? Just I share the product, I don't make it. So just skip over it, no big deal. I won't pick on you, okay? So now we can play. I want everyone on your table, there should be an oil-free eye makeup remover. So we have our fantastic oil-free eye makeup remover. On your tray, you should have a cotton round. Now, if you don't have a cotton round, just kind of gently raise your hand and someone will come to you and provide you with a cotton round. And so, can you, um, yes, perfect. We're going to grab some cotton round. Okay. Okay, so we're going to grab that, just kind of keep your hand up. Oil-free eye makeup remover, let me tell you how we're going to use this, ladies. Really important order of application. Number one, make sure you close your eye before you set this on your eye, okay? I know, giggle, giggle, but it's true. So you're going to do this, you're going to shake the oil-free eye makeup remover. That means it's ready to go. You're going to grab that cotton round. Now, if you have eye makeup on, like you love eye makeup like I do, you're going to put some on there. If you don't have eye makeup on there, just do it to humor me. Go, ooh, <laughs> ah, and pretend like it's doing wonders for you, okay? So just use this. You're going to put it on your cotton round. Again, if you have lots of makeup, lots of oil-free eye makeup remover, you don't really need lots, but it'll make it easier for today. You're going to close eye. Set on closed eye. Let it absorb for a couple of seconds. Sit there. And then gently rub. And then you'll do the other eye too. Okay, so go ahead. Grab your oil-free eye makeup remover. There should be one on the table. Take one down, pass it around. Um, if you do not have something or you need something, if you can just look to Gerilyn over here, and she will kind of help out just because there's so many of us. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this as you're removing eye makeup. Really important to remove eye makeup every single night before going to bed. And also really important to be gentle on the eye area. One of the first places we see signs of aging on a woman is her eye area. Dark circles, crow's feet, puffiness, wrinkles, all that amazingness that you don't have but your friend might, you know, we don't have that problem but our friend does. We don't want it anymore. So if you're working around your eye area today, if you can do this for me, you guys, and be really gentle when it comes to moisturizer and foundation, do this for me today. Okay, and blend really nicely. Please do not do this. This makes me so scared when you go like this. I'm like, <gasps> counting the crow's feet. Okay, don't do it. So just don't do that. But go ahead and remove eye makeup. Now, did anybody not have eye makeup on or think they didn't, and then something is on their cotton round? <laughs> Ew, I know I see the faces like, are you kidding me? It is amazing. That's why I always say, humor me, try it anyways. Where did that come from? I know. Okay, so oil-free eye makeup remover every night. Another disgusting fact, there's these little things called eye mites. They're like cousins to the bed bugs or something. Sleeping with your eye makeup, they multiply. And you can Google them. Mm -hmm. Type in eye mite, click on image, see the little gross things that multiply when you sleep with your eye makeup. So just remove it at night and we don't have to worry about breeding eye mites, okay? So, yeah, absolutely. that's not a Mary Kay fact, sorry. That is a um, biology fact, okay? My past days. So we're going to go into skincare. You've done oil-free eye makeup remover. That is step one. And then we're going to go right into... Our Time White Skin Care Set. So all of you have everything on your tray, but the first thing I'm going to show you is a 3-in-1 cleanser. We are using our age-fighting skin care today. Never too early to start and never too late to start, okay? So um, our 3-in-1 cleanser has a cleanser, exfoliator, and toner in there. 3-in-1. When Farm Girl <coughs> heard that, I was so excited. I was like, three steps in one? I can do that, okay? So your cleanser is going to be located on your tray by finding it this way. So listen up, and I'll describe where it is. If you told your consultant you had normal to dry skin, then you should have a creamy white formula with little pink beads in it. It. Okay? If you told her you had combination to oily formula, it should be a clearish formula with little purplish blue beads. Do you all see your cleanser? Okay, let me remind you of this. Cleansers like a soap, 
And putting it in your eyes doesn't feel well either, okay? So if you can make sure you avoid the eye area when putting it on, you'll be much happier with the cleanser. The other thing I want to tell you is today you're going to put it on a dry face. Typically at home, you're in front of your bathroom sink, it's all lathery and bubbly and wonderful. We all don't have a bathroom sink. We're sharing a lot of bathroom space this morning or today, okay? But you guys, just put it on your dry face, the cleanser. So you're going to scoop it up. Don't even wet your face yet. You're going to scoop up the cleanser. You're going to go like this, up and out. You're going to kind of go like, this is out on a dry face. Just massage it in. It's going to kind of rub in. Grab that nice wet cloth that you have that you're going to be getting in just a second. Actually, it's coming around. And you're going to go like this, open cloth. Wash it off. And you need to wash it just like that, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you guys are having so much fun. So on a dry skin, I know, again, it's going to feel a little different. So you're going to go right there. You're going to go right there. And you're going to go up and out all over. You're going to go right there. You guys are good. You got it. You got it going on. Don't put it in the eyes. Yep, with your fingers up and out, up and out, up and out. And do not put it in the eyes. Grab you a cloth here. Wow, this is fun. Okay, it opens really, really wide so you can open it. Okay, and then after you're done massaging it in, you're just going to wash it off. And as you're doing that, give me one right here. Anybody else need one here? Yep, right here. Okay. So let me tell you about that cleanser as you're using it. Three in one again, cleanse, exfoliate, and tone. Do you all feel those little beads in there? They're little exfoliators, gentle exfoliators for morning and night. The other thing about our age fighting system here, our miracle set that we're going to be using by the end of the time here, but this is step one, is it is going to help with all the signs of aging. So it's going to help with fine lines, wrinkles, uneven skin tone, age spots, sunspots, all the stuff that happens to our skin as we mature, not as we age. Again, that's what happens to our friends as we mature, okay? So three-in-one cleanser, and you're washing that off right now, morning and night. Morning and night, you really want to take care of your skin, morning and night. So it's best if you wash both morning and night, just not one time a day. Okay, three and one cleanser. And then you're going to play with your age-fighting moisturizer. So some of you are still washing it off, but I'll kind of tell you about the next step here. Your age-fighting moisturizer is what's going to keep you firm in life. Anyone want to stay firm? <laughs> Only half of you do. Oh, sad. Okay, there's the rest of you. Right, you're like, I just heard what you said. Okay, so what happens is, is your skin needs to stay well hydrated to stay firm. So just remember this, dry equals wrinkles. That's kind of scary, okay? Dry equals wrinkles. So you want to make sure you are hydrating everything. Today we're focused on the face, but there's probably more in life that you want to keep firm, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, okay. So you get the point, you're going to get a really great body lotion. My personal favorite, Targeted Action Body Lotion, Mary Kay, or Visibly Fit Body Lotion, like, it'll keep it firm, okay? So um, I'm going to have you grab the moisturizer. Now your moisturizer should be the white, thicker one. If you have another white solution, it's probably your day solution, it's very thin. Okay, the thin one, it kind of like seeps out over the tray, but the white one that's plumped up, that's your age-fighting moisturizer. If you're like, I have no clue, then before you put it on, give me the eyes, like uh, I'm really lost, okay? And I'll tell you where you're going to go here. Good job. Age-fighting moisturizer, you're going to go like this. Take it on your face, and you're going to go up and out. And then you're going to take it up your decollete. <laughs> I did not just say a bad word. I know you all stopped like I said something. You all know where your decollete is, right? Okay, it's the second fastest place that ages on a woman. First was the eyes, second is the decollete. Chin to chest. And you all know what I'm talking about. Think of someone like 30 years older than you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're going to take extra moisturizer and go like this. Okay, as much as your shirt will allow, get it on that chest. Chin to chest, decollete. So you want to keep it really well hydrated. It's one of the thinnest layers of skin. That's why it ages so fast. And you guys know that it's pretty thin. And then the next place that ages really fast in a woman, backs of the hands. So if you have any leftover on those hands, just kind of go like this. And you'll be looking good in all those areas. Okay, so right now, if you just went around the eyes, I know you went like this, right? 
<laughs> yeah, you're going, no, I did it. It's okay. We'll cover up those dark circles now. But don't worry, you're just going to kind of tap it in. Age fighting moisturizer keeps you firm. Now, if you're saying, well, KT, I'm combination to oily skin, like I don't need a moisturizer. Let me just tell you this your skin has a natural hydration level. And if you don't hydrate, your skin will take it back to that hydration level. Your pores will produce more oils, making up for lack of hydration. Now, hydration and oil is two different feelings on our face, okay? So that's why there's not a one-size-fits-all skin care. What normal to dry skin uses is not what combination to oily skin uses. Like, we would not be happy. I'm an oil slick, naturally. If I wore what normal to dry skin wore, I would be like, Oh my gosh, like one big pimple at the end of the day, okay? So make sure you have the right formula skincare. That's really important. Got it. Okay, so age fighting moisturizer. And then our last step to basic skincare right now that's going on our face is foundation. Today we're going to use our age fighting foundation. Now, um, I know there's some consultants in the room and uh, Gerilyn in the room too who can help if as we're seeing you put on your foundation it will set in i always say give it about a minute to set in don't panic and go it's a wrong color <laughs> don't do that to me like let it set in because it will adjust to your skin and we will make sure it's the right color my reputation's on the line when you leave here today so if it's wrong i'll fix it because i don't want you to look like that okay so for today though i want you just to take a little bit of foundation here's how we're going to apply it the foundation is like the brown color one in your tray Okay, and a little bit goes a really long way. So everything else you've been scooping and applying. If you do that with foundation, we will be blending down to your thighs. Okay, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh. So if you can do this for me, just kind of take your finger, do little tiny dots. You're really gonna believe me when I tell you a little bit goes a long way. Do little tiny dots, little tiny dots, and then kind of go like this. Out and down, out and down. Come up here. Blend so we don't have the high school orange line all over. If you want to pull out ivory three, actually, I'm going to, um, ivory two. Now we were matching you. Ivory two. A little bit, really long way. Some of you are experiencing that right now. Okay, so blend, 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 blend. Around that eye area. Now don't be messing with me. Remember, tap it, tap it, tap it very lightly. And this right now is going to be our primer. Like, we're priming a wall. We're just going to get your skin evened out. I'm going to teach you a little bit about coverage and touch up. So if you're the glamour girl or you want flawless foundation, I'll teach you a little bit about that. More at your follow-up is when you would really perfect that kind of stuff. So make sure you talk to your consultant if you're like, I have to have layers with a mineral foundation over the top, like it's gotta be perfect. That would be more of your follow-up, okay? And consultants around the room, and I was just in here too. But if you can look around the room too, if you guys see anything that needs to be changed, um, just kind of hop up and help her so she feels confident with her foundation. <clears throat> Are you feeling like it's a little light? Yeah. I'm feeling like it is too. I would take you one shade up. Do you know what color your consultant gave you? No. Oh, great. Okay. Um, I would probably go with ivory four. Do you know? Do you want me to grab one? Yes, please. Okay. See, so what I love, guys, is I absolutely love that the foundation just wipes right off. So if you have a wrong color, I think one of the number one fears for consultants is, oh, I don't know how to match your color. You know what? It's not a big deal. Totally fine. You just look at her, and once it's set in, if you feel like it's a little light or a little dark, you just, oh, don't you worry about that. <laughs> you just wipe it off and start over again. It's totally fine. I know so many women who are like, I cannot hold my first show. I do not have, I do not know how to match every foundation. I don't know everything about every product. The only way for us to learn is practice. Practice, practice, practice. Do you want to change something? Okay, you're fine. I've told you I wouldn't pick on you. You keep doing what you're doing. You're fine. Okay? So then if you want touch-ups, anyone want touch-ups? Like, uh, I like a little bit more coverage here. Okay. You're gonna take your ring finger. Typically, this would be a fantastic brush that you would be kind of doing some more touch-ups with. I tell you this at your follow-up, I surely hope you learn how to do this with brushes. I would never touch my fingers to my face with foundation. Everything is brushes. It gives great coverage. It 
gets in little cracks and crevices that our fingers just cannot reach. And it's amazing. So ask to learn how to do that. Celebrities and makeup artists, you would never find a makeup artist going with like their fingers. It would be all brushes. Okay, so make sure you learn how to do that. But for touch-ups today, you're going to take, because this is very basic, you're going to take your ring finger, very delicately take a tiny bit of foundation. And if it's just, you know, maybe a little acne or a brown spot or a sunspot or a scar, just kind of tap in and keep tapping like this. Give yourself some extra coverage. Now, a place that I think just about every woman needs coverage is dark circles, right? I haven't met a woman yet, really, who doesn't complain about dark circles or puffiness or something. But we're going to talk about dark circles. They originate right here. At the base of your nose, right here, is where they originate, like right on that spot. It's, they're dark. Like you can look in your mirror right now. I always say, just look, and they're really dark right here. And women go to attack dark circles like this. Like that does nothing. Okay? we got to go like this. So go ahead and attack some dark circles, okay? Like get rid of them, tell them goodbye, tap it in. For this, I would love like our facial highlighting pin. Oh my goodness, it is one of those products that ever since I started using it, I've never gone without it. So it just helps highlight that area, brightens it so that it doesn't look dull and dark, which I love. Okay, so you're just kind of tapping for coverage here. Okay, and as you're doing that, I'll tell you this. If you are not a liquid foundation girl, after all said and done, you're just like, I am not in love with liquid. We not, might not be friends because I am in love with liquid, but I will reassure you we have eight types of foundation in several different colors, okay? So we've got everything from cream to powder, pressed to pressed powder, mineral foundation, loose powder, tinted moisturizer, which is like a foundation and moisturizer together, and three types of liquid. That equals eight. There's options here, okay? So you, if you have to change it up a bit to get exactly what you like, not a big deal. I personally do liquid with a dust of mineral foundation over the top, and I love it. I love the way it covers, okay? So that's basic skincare. You're just really learning real quick, basic knowledge of taking care of your skin, cleansing, hydrating, morning and night. This is, again, very basic, like food. Everyone has to do it, okay? You gotta do it. But who here is like, I could use a miracle for my face? Like, help me out here. I need more than basics these days. Okay, good. Only two of you like a miracle. That's awesome. Oh, there, again, now there's more hands. We, more people like free, and they want miracles. I'm getting it now. So we're going to play with our day and our night solution. When you put this with the basics that you just did, this is Mary Kay's miracle set. Now, these two dynamic duos here, they, these are age-fighting serums. These are not moisturizers. They're not going to give you more hydration on your face. They're purely for the age-fighting. So our first one is day solution. It has your SPF 35 in it, yes, because the sun is the number one thing that damages your skin. So this is just going to protect you from the sun, thank you. And it also is packed full of goodness, antioxidants and all kinds of stuff. It helps calm expression lines. Do you know what expression lines are? They're the ones I have a lot of because I'm really expressive, okay? Like these ones, okay? The deep ones. So we want to fight those and calm them as much as possible, okay? Typically this goes on your face, right? Today we're just going to kind of compare and contrast. I just want you to do it on the back of one of your hands. Now don't put it on both hands because then you won't know which one looks or feels better. So your day solution is more of the white one that was very liquidy, okay? And I have some right here because I like to show you that at my personal shows, I don't have this in their tray because there's so much that happens when you build a relationship and touches one of them. So I ask my customer here, and I hold their hand like this, and I just pump a little bit on there, helping build a relationship. Kind of in her personal space, we're gaining some trust, and I've touched her hand. Oh my goodness, we're not going far. We're only <laughs> touching hands. It's okay. Okay, so I didn't put it in their trays because this is how I do it at my shows. And I walk around, and I put it on. Anybody not have day solution and need it? Anybody, do you not have it? No. It's just because you want me to come touch your hand. Come here. <laughs> now I know how it is. It's okay. Go for it. Do you need one? No, it's right. You don't want me to touch your hand. That's the <laughs> It's okay. Okay. So day solution. And this one again, SPF 25. Rub it into the back of one of your hands. What I love is immediately you can kind of see that there's a healthy glow. Do you see that little glow? There is a big difference between glow and, again, oil. 
glow is like, whoa, this is exciting. When your face has a healthy glow, you look a little bit younger, more vibrant, it's brighter, and your friends will go, what have you been doing? Okay, because you've got that little glow. If you're younger, they might ask, like, do you have news to tell me? Why do you have this healthy glow? So watch out, okay? No. But anyways, SPF 35 Day Solution. Also, as it sets in, I want you to kind of feel each hand, and you're just going to really feel the difference. Day Solution. So again, we're putting it right up here with our Miracle Set. We're making it our whole set. The last one to top it off would be Night Solution. Huh, this would be the one you put on at night. Go figure, okay? It has these fantastic little NutriBeads in here. Those little beads are vitamins and minerals that are encapsulated. They come out, they burst and release directly onto your face. When you sleep at night, that's when your skin repairs itself. So just like when your friends go to you, wow, are you not feeling well? And you're kind of like, no, I haven't been getting sleep. Like your skin hasn't had time to repair. That's what's wrong. This helps speed it up. Um, I love the way it makes my skin feel. It's so, so yummy. So the night solution is like the clear one on your tray. You don't see a bead because they burst when it comes out, okay? So it's just the clear one. You're going to take some, and you're just going to apply it to one side of your neck. Again, we're trying to compare and contrast, so don't get really happy with it. Just one side of your neck. And I'm going to come to my guest here, and they're going to just give me their favorite finger. They have one. I know they do. And I'm going to pump a little bit on, and they're going to rub it onto one side of their neck. Okay, night solution. Gerilyn, do you want to go around and start feeling a little bit of this on each side of their applicator if they don't have it? Yep. Okay. So you have basic on your face, day and night solution, one on the back of your hand, one on your neck. It's all setting in right now. This is Mary Kay's Miracle Set. Now, as it's setting in, I'm going to tell you about what you would play with at that follow-up, that more of the and then some. You would probably get to play with microdermabrasion. Personally, one of my favorite products. Have any of you here played with microdermabrasion before? How about this? Have any of you had a microdermabrasion treatment done at a nice spa or dermatologist office? Typically, it's about $125 a treatment. It's pretty intense on the pocketbook. You know, it's like, whoa. Um, I love Mary Kay's Microderm. It is... Okay, I have the wrong one here. This is funny. It's a little bit bigger than that one. It's this one. Yay. So it is about, you use it about two to three times a week. You would not want to use it every day. It's a deep, deep exfoliator. You know those beads you felt in your cleanser? They're like tripled in here because it helps remove layers of damaged skin. Damaged skin is going to look like this. It's going to have some brown spots on it, maybe. It's going to have red spots. It's going to have pox scars from acne. It's going to have different kinds of acne scars. It's going to have large pores, blackheads, just uneven surface layer. Again, the things that happen to our skin as we mature. This literally helps buff and bring out the new layer of beautiful skin. So I love microderm because again I had acne really bad before Mary Kay and it had helped so much with clearing up the scars and stuff that were right here on my face so love microderm do you use it every day no your skin has to heal and so if you remove that much skin every day you're probably going to bring out actually older scars and it's not going to do good okay so you got to let your skin heal a little bit and use it about two to three times a week depending on how sensitive you are so that's more of a follow-up microdermabrasion and then last skincare because there's so much to skincare of course we have um, firming eye creams oh my goodness we have targeted action line reducer which is like um, caulking for your wrinkles literally it's like <laughs> you just put it in there and it boom fills it in and bam they're gone kind of exciting okay so there's some fun stuff that we have for age fighting but I think the last thing I'd probably draw your attention to is our Mary Kay Timewise repair set it is the new revolutionary advanced skincare it is a skincare for already damaged or aged skin personally it is a skincare that I use you would never know I was 63 huh <laughs> okay just joking but I personally use it because all my girlfriends and Mary Kay started using it because they were like well they want to look good you know when they're 80 and I thought okay here's the deal if they're all using it they're gonna look you know 40 when we're all 70 and if I don't get to using it I'm gonna look 60 when we're 70 and they're gonna look 40 and I can't have it so I was <laughs> I'm on that time wise repair stuff so ask your consultant about it. it is amazing literally you can use it one day and you will just notice a difference in the texture of your skin
I have had every customer has noticed a difference in the texture. I'm like, that's amazing. And one day, wow. So talking about that now, I want you to kind of see what the texture of your skin feels like right now. So if you can just take the back side of your hand and kind of go like this. And just kind of feel it. Is it pretty soft? Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth? Feeling good? Day solution has probably set in, so you can kind of go like this. Look at it. Night solution, smooth as a baby's bottom. It's good. I love it. Okay, so um, I will just kind of tell you this. If you went like this and you were like, it's kind of sticky. If you felt like that, I will tell you, you might want to talk to your consultant about giving you the opposite skin care. Okay, so they may have given you normal to dry, but you need combination to oily. And we find that out really simply by if your first reaction was it's not as smooth as my friend is saying hers is, now, if you're double guessing it, because I said it, what you think about, you bring about, so you might be causing a problem, okay? But a lot of times, if you felt it immediately and you were like, a little dewy is what I would call it, then just make sure at the end you say, I think I need the other one. That's really, really easy fix for us, okay? So, are you guys ready for some glamour? Yeah, it's my favorite part. Okay, wait. Some of you are not as excited as others, and I am giving you all I got tonight. So I need you to give me all you got, too. Deal? Okay, yep. we're all awake now. Great. One's still not doing it for me. She is going to make me work for this. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a little bit of cream eye color. So this is our first step to emergency glamour. Now let me remind you, emergency glamour is hot date just called. And you have like 45 seconds before they whip around that corner to pick you up. Now I know that happens every day to you. Okay? And you have to get ready. They're nodding. They're like, yeah, it just happened last night. Oh my gosh. I totally got to go hang out with you guys. This is awesome. So anyways, you're going to find that this is going to be very neutral, fast glamour. It's not like, wow, I love my smoky eyes. No. We're not doing smoky eyes today. We're doing emergency glamour. So your first little step here, you have this awesome sponge tip applicator. I call these Fisher Price toys. After today, please never use these. Use brushes, brushes, brushes. For today, though, you're going to take this is beach blonde, a very neutral color, and you're going to apply it on your whole entire eyelid. Your eyelid is from your lash line to your brow. Very neutral color. This is creating a base for your entire eye. And you're going to close your eye and apply it from lash lid to eyebrow, the whole lid. Just blend it on very nicely and then go and flip over the applicator and do it to the other side. We don't want to see creases or chunks of it, just blend nicely. Okay, we can start with mascara. They're all the same. I just thought there might be a lot of people, so if we run out, there we go. Okay, you guys, so you're blending cream eye color. Let me tell you why I love cream eye color. Personally, I have it on today, and it is the base underneath all my eyeshadows. So I love to put on eyeshadows. I have all of our mineral colors, not all of them on, but I have like four of them on. Okay, I like to play. Um, anyways, I have this on as my base. So what that means is my eyeshadows are not going to crease, smudge, flake, go anywhere throughout the day. This went on at like 7 a.m. this morning, and it's still there. Okay, so I love that it keeps our eyeshadow where we put it. It's a smudge-proof, waterproof formula. But you can also wear it alone. On my days that I'm just hanging with the kiddos or just going to the gym, not really, you know, talking about Mary Kay or out and about, then I really, it's my fast, like, swooping on. I look like I've done something, but I haven't worked too hard on doing my glamour. So very fast. This is one of the colors. We have lots of options. This is just one. It's beach blonde. Okay, now the next step to emergency glamour, and you guys are getting started right now, let me tell you a little bit about it before you use it though, is mascara. You cannot have glamour without mascara. I'm so sorry, there's no possible way, okay? So this is how you're going to do it. You're going to get a dip of mascara. If you're a mascara novice and you do not know how to apply it, you're going to go like this and just blink into your wand. If you're really awesome and you do this every day, you're going to go like this. You're going to start at the base of your lashes and smoochy up, okay? If you wiggle between, it makes them thicker and fuller. Current glamour trend is to do both top and bottom lashes. And here's my other secret. If you have a whoops, please don't touch your whoops. Like, you get it somewhere other than your lashes. If you let it set there, as soon as you're done, it'll go like this. 
not as soon as you're done, as soon as it dries, I should say. So we got to give it a couple of minutes, we'll move on, and then you can come back and go like this. And it'll flake right off if it's not on your lashes, okay? So don't touch it. If you touch it, what does it do? Smears everywhere. We have to start all over. So go ahead. This is where you grab your mirror out. We're coming around with mascara right now. You're going to grab your mirror out. I recommend keeping the mirror an inch away from your nose. If you can open your mouth really wide, it helps apply it. <laughs> and I'm not hard. You'll be good to go. Okay. And then I'm going to tell you guys this with the mascara, you guys. When you do your mascara, you take your mascara, you take the little applicator's wand. You guys go ahead and go. This is more for consultants. You want to swirl your mascara. You never want to pump a mascara. Pumping introduces air. Introducing air introduces bacteria. That's gross. It also dries it out. That means you have to call me more often to get a new one because it's dry. So unless you want to be my best friend, you're going to swirl, and it'll make your mascara last longer with no bacteria. Awesome. Okay? So again, Emergency Glamour Step 2 Mascara. We're using our Ultimate Mascara in Black. Lash Lengthener, Volumizer, amazingness. Cannot have a hot date with a little bit of mascara on. It's just the way it is. They might know. Actually, if they do notice, they're probably like opening their eyes while kissing, and that's just wrong, so they probably won't even really notice, right? But we would know. Like us girls, we would know that kind of thing. Okay, next step is bronzer. You guys are ready for this, huh? So they're going to take a little bit of bronzer, they're going to put it on a little cotton ball. At this point, we need your cotton ball, not your cotton round. You're going to take your cotton ball. We're going to dust them on there for you. There's very important order of application for bronzer here. You are going to take your bronzer, you're going to tap it at your temples. We are using our matte bronzer in sandstone. You tap at your temples. These are your temples, and we're going to draw it down to our apples. If you can draw down like this, tap, tap, dust down, dust down, and then flip over the bronzer, the cotton ball with no bronzer on it, and go like this. Swoosh it back. But if you go like this, you are going to have racing streaks. And it'll be very clear that you have bronzer on. <laughs> bronzer is made just to give us a little bit of a sun-kissed glow, a little bit of a highlight. It's not blush, so it's not going to be very noticeable. Just like you sat in the sun before you came in, so you got some color. Okay? So a little bit of a dust. We're using, again, sandstone, which is a matte bronzer, no shimmer. If we have acne or wrinkles, we kind of want to avoid shimmer because shimmer will get stuck in, that, in wrinkles or acne scars or such. So I just use matte just to be safe whenever I'm dealing with a lot of people, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this. I personally teach the bronzer dance at all of my shows because it will remind guests how to apply their bronzer. So remember I said tap, tap, swoosh, swoosh, blend. So we're just going to kind of go like this. We go tap, tap, swoosh, swoosh, <laughs> and then take it back. <laughs> so they all remember. You will all remember how to apply. So tap, tap, swoosh, swoosh, take it back. Here we go. I was not a cheerleader. I love them. I was not one. And I'm a total farm girl. So you, anything can happen to you, I promise. Watch out. Okay, we're almost ready for that hot date that's swooping around the corner right now, I know. They're coming, we'll hurry. Okay, so after you're done with bronzer, you're gonna grab your lip gloss. Now lip gloss should just have a little bit of color and it should be on your tray. If you don't have a lip gloss, maybe your consultant gave you. I put it right in your tray. If I, but your, she may have given you a little sample like this to pull out your lip gloss from. Oh, I forgot. That was nice of me. I did everyone else on this table. So with the lip gloss, you're going to just take your finger like this. You're going to stick it in the lip gloss and just stay on the lines. Okay. Okay, so if I could...
to teach you Emergency Glamour 101. That is exactly what I would tell you. We would dash on a little bit of cream eye color. We would put on a little bit of mascara, swoop on some bronzer, a little bit of lip color, and bam! Hot date can arrive and you would be ready. You can pull it off. Now, if you're the glamour girl, how many of you here are the glamour girl? Like three eyeshadows, eyeliner, lip liner, lip everyday brows. Okay, good. So more at your follow-up when you do like the microdermabrasion and such, you would play with glamour. And you would probably have a little bit more instruction like this with where to apply it and step by step. And so that's why I really do recommend it. But this is an idea of our custom compact. This I call my face case. It's like my face in this case. I think that's really cool. And it goes like this. You just literally pop the little button. It's magnetic. All our colors come out. Really cool. And then we put them all back in there. Good to go. Okay, so this is how our custom compact works. And at your follow-up, you can kind of pick colors, create one, make it all your face for you. Um, Typically right now, I would ask you to um, do this, but I just want to do it so that they have it on recording, okay? You would flip over the back of your profile card, and as fast as possible, but you're going to wait a second on this, as fast as possible, you would start filling out all the last questions on here, and I would be saying this, as a Mary Kay consultant, I am an independent beauty like owner, independent owner of my own business, small business owner, all these women in here are their own owners. There's no sign out there that says, oh my gosh, buy Mary Kay from KT Martin. There's no billboard, there's no commercials. Word of mouth is the number one way that we build our business. So there is a little area here to share me with your family and friends or whoever you love the most, and that's where you would fill that in on question number 11. And I would say, ready, set, go, and the first person to fill them all out would get something for free from me. Yay, 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 go, go. But for today, you're going to do this really quick for your consultant in a little bit, okay? Got it? That's what I would do. Um, but I want you to flip over the back of your profile card for reels, grab a pen, and I'm going to kind of real quick review all the sets that we did. Tiffany is going to... I'm going to be a little late here, so I'm going to be in trouble. Yes. Totally fine. Use the back of your guest registration form. Whatever you got from your consultant. How many of you here have seen the Cadillac special of Mary Kay, our roll-up bag. Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, only one person has seen this. Two, wow, guests, get ready. So, on the back of your customer profile card, there's this big pink rectangle that says only your consultant's gonna write in that. We are breaking all the rules today. It's my favorite thing to do, okay? You're gonna actually write in it. And this is just notes. So at the end, when your consultant's like, hey, what was your favorite? You can, just tell her because you took notes. This is not an order form, okay? Not tricking you into anything. Just take notes, you'll know everything, okay? So the first set, I'm gonna kind of review the sets here. The first set that we used, and I'm gonna to have to set this right here because I always have a little table in front of me. Okay, the first set, this looks funny, huh? Is our basic skincare. So right now, guest, if you're like, oh my gosh, I need to start taking care of my skin, you're gonna write down on the back of your profile card, basic skincare. Just write it down, you'll take a notes. Three in one cleanser, age fighting moisturizer, and a foundation. We have eight different options. That's what comes in our basic time-wise age fighting skincare system. Three of these right here, it's 55 to 60 is the price. 55 to 60 depending on what foundation you choose. Okay? So that is basic skincare. The next thing that we used today was day and night solution. So I'm just putting this away in my roll-up bag for you guys here. Day and night solution, this dynamic duo retails for 60. When you put them with the miracle set though, they actually take $10 off and this becomes 50 because you got the miracle set. Kind of a special. So that's day and night solution. And then you have microdermabrasion. Microdermabrasion, 55. 55 is the microderm, which really excites me because remember what was one price of it at the dermatologist office? 125, 225, depending on where you go. 55, wow, okay. And then we did emergency glamour today, which was cream eye color, mascara, bronzer, and a lip gloss. And what's really fun is there's options in all of that. There's options in all of those colors and types. So for all four of those, it is 54. We just had a lip gloss price change, so I'm hoping I'm right here. Add it up. Okay, so there's that. 
And then we have our face case, our custom compact here, which is three eyeshadows, lipstick, or lip gloss, and that color all right here, all together to go. Bam. And it's like 60... 65.50, but now it's 66.50, I think, with this. Okay, there you go. I know this is horrible, but she's not going to want my training now. I'm going to redo it. That's what's going to happen. Oh, okay, and then lastly, remember I said brushes, brushes, brushes at your... Where are you going to play with brushes at? Face. Your follow-up. Yes, okay, so I'm glad you all remembered that. I've said it 4,000 <laughs> times now, okay? The, this is our brush collection, brush collection, five brushes, natural hair brushes, in the adorable case, this, this little middle pocket just comes right out. Five brushes, natural hair, cute little kit, 55. Are you kidding me? Women tell me they pay 55 for one of these. You know you do. You know you've heard of it. <laughs> Again, not you, your friend, right? Okay. We always blame them. And this is how the roll-up bag works. So I'm going to close all the pockets here. So the roll-up bag just kind of sets right here. For me, it sets on my little towel bar at home. It just kind of swivel hooks, so maybe the back of my door, wherever I want to put it. And then people are coming over. I want to look all clean and organized. I just wham, bam, put it together, slide it under my sink. I look like I'm all organized. Or put it in my bag because I'm going to travel or go somewhere. And then, here's what I really love. This is what you're going to get really excited about. Okay. I know, so excited. <laughs> All the pockets come off. So you can just take one with you. If you're like, oh, I just need the skincare because I'm at the gym washing my face, you just take it with you. So there's so many different sets and such. But what I tell you, the Cadillac special for me, the way I do it is any four sets, any four sets, and you can create a set with your consultant if you kind of need to get creative, <laughs> any four sets and the bag itself, for $1.99. That's a really awesome deal. Does it come individually? Of course it does. Do we have more than what I showed you? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is just kind of the basics to uh, get you understanding Mary Kay and kind of seeing a little bit of a special. I personally love sales, so this excites me. Now I know your consultant will tell you this. She probably takes cash check, charge, Visa, debit, or Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express, so charge, so you might talk to her if you're like, hmm, I'm kind of interested, okay? But it does come all individually. Now, I'm going to end real quick with sharing with you the 10 reasons why I love my Mary Kay business. Now, they have 4 billion reasons why they love theirs. But I'm just going to break it down to the 10 reasons. And can we have group involvement here? If you don't know how to read, just pass it on, okay? But I'm going to have you guys read, and I'll just elaborate. So go ahead and read. These are the 10 reasons why I would say, hey, Think about this crazy Mary Kay thing, but you could say to me, I'd rather eat dirt and die, KT, and I'd be so used to hearing that because I used to say it. Okay, so just listen. What's number one say? Oh, financially, the sky is the limit. So go ahead and pass it on, and then financially, the sky's the limit, you guys. What you put into it's what you get out of it. You can go from a couple hundred dollars a week in college, that's what, how I started my business, to over $100,000 a year. And this is what I get to do, party. Ah, so fun. Okay, number two. Highest commission in districts, direct sales. Great job. Highest commission in direct sales. You guys, we make 50% of everything we sell. I'm excited. Okay, go ahead and read. I know. Selling a consumable product. Selling a consumable product. You guys, I know this. There's a lot of companies out there that you can sell stuff. Like, I get it. I've been around the block, okay? But I will say this. You've got to sell something that women run out of every day. And that we're always shopping for eyeliners, mascaras, foundations, cleansers. Great, that's what you're selling. Number four. Flexibility and freedom to prioritize your life. You can pri literally, you can fit it into whatever schedule, you guys. I have women from the ages of 18 to 82 doing Mary Kay, doctors, lawyers, and women with nine children. If you're busy, you can make it work. Next one, five, we're almost done. Prizes, free cars, and recognition. Recognition. Prizes, free cars, and recognition. Need I say more? Woo! There's a lot of free cars out there in that parking lot from Mary Kay. Check them out. Six. Freedom to advance. You can move up as fast or as slow as you want. This one excited me. I did not have to wait for somebody to recognize I was awesome and give me a promotion. Okay? That's how it would have been at my job in my cubicle, waiting for that. Oh, I'm so thankful I took a risk and, like, jumped with it. Okay, number seven. 
Incredible tax deductions. Incredible tax deductions. It is an at-home business. So my advice to you is save every single receipt. You never know what you can claim as a tax write-off, from cell phone to, you know, a portion of your mortgage. It really depends on your tax advisor and your business. Next, eight. No quotas or territories. No quotas or territories. We can sell anywhere in the U.S. So we can go outside of Roseville, California. But here's the other great thing. We do honor this. If someone has a consultant, the only territory we have is if someone's being taken care of by a Mary Kay consultant, we don't take their business. We honor the fact that people might already have a consultant, and that's who they are to work with. Cool? Okay, next one, nine. Product at wholesale. Product at wholesale. We get our own stuff at half off, and thank goodness, because if I had to pay full price, it takes a lot to keep this thing looking cute, okay? So I am so <laughs> thankful I get it at half off. <laughs> It's really a true story. Okay, and then 10. Nothing to lose. A $100 investment, 90% buy that. Bam! Okay, you guys, I tell women every day, and I'm really real. I know i got a short time with you. I wish you could hear my story and hear my heart, but I tell you this. There's nothing to lose. When Mary Kay does for your life an ounce of what it's done for my life, I don't know what you have to lose. These two women live in the town that I am from, and they could tell you my whole entire story, and they're like, wow. Okay? So, um... Nothing to lose. It's $100 plus tax and shipping to get started, and we get our starter kit, which has the miracle set in it, which already retails for $100. It's over $510 stuff, $10 worth of stuff in our starter kit, and we're a brand new beauty consultant. That's how simple it is. And then you have trainings like this where literally you get to get help with your business. So on the back of that profile card where you were kind of taking notes, on the back of that I want you to write A, B, C, or D. And this is what that means. This is kind of the legend for your consultant to know what your interest level is in the Mary Kay opportunity just based off of the facts you heard today. You only heard a little bit, okay? My favorite reasons. A is absolutely sign me up. I'm ready to go. That's A. B is find me a cup of coffee. I have some questions. C is call and invite me to the next career event. This sounds interesting. And D is eat dirt and die, KT. No, no, no. D is definitely not. I prefer to pay full price. Like, I'm just going to be a little happy customer, okay? A, absolutely, I'm ready to go. What do I have to lose? B, C, or D. And with that, you guys, I know um, we are going to end our session. You're going to get an individual, hold on one second, you're going to get an individual consultation with your consultant after Tiffany gives away some free stuff, okay? And with that, you just want to ask for a catalog and an order form and then meet with your consultant individually and just tell her what you thought, okay?